Another way of bringing in dynamic multimedia content into your mobile app is to provide streaming music to your audience. And to do this, we can go into the music area. And in the music area of the Instant Encore panel, things are arranged by albums. So you can create a new album. And that takes you to step one, where you would enter in the album information. Now, if you're an individual musician or an ensemble, then you, of course you can upload your own album information, you can add in your own work. If you're a presenter, um, then you might talk with your artist whom you're bringing in to get permission to provide either a track for streaming or um, get permission to use a sample of uh, one or multiple tracks from their album that you can put into an album here in the control panel. So our Performing Arts Center has talked with Bernadette Peters. She's agreed to let us use one of the tracks from an album. So we're going to enter in this, the album name. We're going to put in the release date. And then we're going to choose our file image. For a file image, we do recommend that you use a square image as opposed to a rectangular image so that you can prevent any undesired cropping. Next, we'll uh, click on Continue. And now we're going to add in uh, the works that appear on the album. In this case, we're going to add in the work that will be streaming. So, Add Work. And the song that we're going to put in is Being Alive and we know that Being Alive was written by Stephen Sondheim so we're going to do Sondheim we know the work comes from Follies It's an excerpt from Follies. And the track title that we're doing. It asks um, our particular presenting organization how we should be listed and related to the work, and we are presenters, so this is correct. Next, we're able to tag individual artists based on their relationship to the recorded work. So if you know the conductor's name, you can add that here. We want, of course, want to tag Bernadette Peters. And since this is a recently used tag, I can simply click on her name and it will be added here. Obviously, Stephen Sondheim has already been associated with the work, so we don't need to add that. 
and once you've added in all of the tags you can click next this is from a live recording the recording date is not listed on the CD but we know the release date so we can no. The recording date is not listed on the CD, so you can leave that blank. And we know that this was recorded at Carnegie Hall in New York City, so we can add that. And once you've completed this information, you can select Next. You'll see that a recording date is required. Shit. This does come from a live recording, so we're going to indicate that it is live as opposed to studio. We don't have the recording date, but we do have the release date. So if you don't have the recording date, you can enter in the release date because a recording date is required. And then the venue location, this is correct. It was recorded in Carnegie Hall in New York. Once you have completed this tagging process, you can select next. If you'd like to add another work, you can. Otherwise, you can select I'm done adding works. Now, you'll see that you're taken to step two, which is a repertoire listing. Again, you can add another work. You can also add a movement track. So if we tap that, it's important if it's part of an act or a movement and scene. But we've already given the track title, so we're fine. So we'll cancel that and go to finished. So we've created our album, and now we need to go in and upload the MP3 for the track, and also connect it to iTunes where they can purchase the album. So let's click on continue. <laughs> 